Hello, everyone. My name is Dwayne Kimball, owner and founder of KMD 89 VA Claims Consulting, leaving no vet behind, and also I'm a United States Army veteran. Today, I'm here with uh, Mr. Free, who is a United States Marine, Semper Fi, and Fi, also yeah. he's a previous client and a returning client, and he's been gracious uh, enough today to do a live testimonial to share uh, some of his experiences as it pertains to the VA uh, disability compensation claims process. Good morning, Mr. Freed. How are we doing today? Great. Thanks. Uh, happy to do it. You've certainly earned it. And so let's let's jump in. Yeah, yeah. So definitely, again, uh, really appreciate it. Just got uh, going to go over two or three questions this morning. Just first question, I just want to get uh, your feedback on not your initial VA claims process, the VA claims um, process, but before you file, because I know this was your first claim. So before you file that claim, what, you know, did you hear, did you do any research? Did you hear any uh, horror stories from other veterans uh, before uh, you filed your first claim? I just, we talked a little bit before is, you know, my association to the VA comes through my dad's experiences, him being a three war veteran and just not being able to really proceed very well through that process. I mean, he's been battling it for years. He, he's got a lot of problems himself, but he's just been, I mean, for the last decade put through the ringer with these guys. So it's, it's just been something I've always heard in conversation with him and, you know, other veterans that I've stayed in contact with that I've served with over the years, anybody that's gone to the VA and being involved in the veteran you know, support community that I am, we always hear the stories, right. When we're hanging out and do the networking meetings the VA always tends to come up at some point, right in the middle of the night. So it's, it's never been a good association. So um, <laughs> to me, and I wasn't really educated on it. So I was a late bloomer with my filing, with my claim process, just because I didn't know. I didn't know, right? I mean, you kind of opened up my eyes. And from there, I just started researching and digging in. And it's, it's kind of uh, addicting at some point, you just start learning more and more and more. And, you know, that's, part of the exchange with them, right, is learning to dance. <laughs> yeah, you know, and it, you, hit, you hit the nail on the head when you said learning and, you know, becoming educated, uh, because when I file, you know, so many of my YouTube videos, I talk about my first claim, and even though I was working in that process uh, before I retired, uh, and I was working in that process, when I did my initial claim, I didn't know what I was doing on that first claim. And I, you know, tell so many other veterans that I received some bad information, you know, and I think if you're open to be educated and learn, it, it'll, it will alleviate a lot of frustration, which leads me into my second question. Um, I know we met in a uh, veteran entrepreneurship program and you were, uh, I would say, probably inst well, instrumental in me starting this YouTube channel because we were talk, you know, and you were like, man, you got so much information you want to do a YouTube channel. I'm like, who's going to listen to me on you YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, look at, and look, at, look, look at us now, you know. So um, once you became a client, what could you or what can you share with other veterans about not so much your particular claim, but KMD 89 Consulting's education process. You know, what did you think about it? Did it um, uh, debunk a lot of the, you know, maybe negative um, uh, misconceptions you had about the VA claims process? But the education piece, when we were able to educate you, um, what did, you know, what was some of your feedback on that? And what can you share with, you know, other veterans? I, I'll say this, I'm now addicted to learning more because... Okay. Because of what you shared with me, it's just because you have so much up here in your mind of the process, you know, having worked inside of the system and approaching everything with that mindset that you've learned, you know, over those years, people coming off the street to file a claim don't have that knowledge. So I was talking to every veteran I talked to about the VA process to say, well, you don't have a Dwayne, you know, I've got a Dwayne, <laughs> you know, that's your problem, you know, because for me, you process so simple and you know really alleviated any stress I had about it going into it and I told you going into it I was like ah you know what I'm gonna 
10, 20 percent or something like that. That's where my mind was at. I was just blown away with how you could connect the dots to my service time and things that I wasn't even thinking of, you know, as far as eligibility goes or, you know, uh, just part things that can be part of the claim. So, and again, that's just not being educated. And so I carried for years and just dismissed it as, oh, I'm just not going to get anything. Or my dad's had such a hard time with stuff or my friends have had such a hard time that, you know, it's not even worth it. Right. You know, for whatever little bit I'll get. Um, But, you know, there's strategy to getting through the process. And if you don't know the strategy to take or the route to take, you know, that's part of the process. And that's when I say to people like, well, you don't have a Dwayne. Let me introduce you to Dwayne over here. This man who's got the VA Bible sitting right next to him right there, <laughs> tabulated, you know, ear barked. You know, this guy knows the system in and out. So I right. appreciated you, you know, walking me through that. Right. You know, and one thing that, you know, I talk to so many veterans on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. And I see not only in talking with them over the phone uh, through uh, consultations, but also the comments that they leave on my YouTube channel when I upload a YouTube video. And I can tell sometimes you know, the learning process it, process isn't there. You know, the education piece uh, isn't there. You know, when someone says, well, I got denied and they don't understand why they were denied or they don't know the difference between, they don't know what a rating decision looks like, you know, or even how to read it. <clears throat> and that prompted me to give monthly educational classes on different topics like that. And even talking in some of uh, my YouTube uh, videos, and you said the, the rating Bible, which is called the rating scheduler. And I've used that in prompts, uh, uh, prop. I use that as a prop in some of uh, my videos. And I tell people that it all starts with being educated. And that's the big mistake that I made with my first claim and that five minute mistake, it took me two or three years to correct it. Cause once right. you get into it, it's like, you know, you're in a, you get in a boat and you push away from the dock and you're like, Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to attach the motor. I forgot the, <laughs> I forgot Oops. the paddles, you know? And so now you're trying to get back to shore and it, yeah. it's going to take you some time, you know? Um, and so when I started my business, I was like, Hey, you know, I had a touch tough time because I wasn't educated with my first claim. And then I had all this frustration, you know, built up towards the VA. And I was like, well, when I started looking at my claim and figuring out, okay, how does the VA claims process impact what I'm doing? Then that's when I start to see uh, success. And that's some of the things that I try to instill in clients is one, definitely become educated and we use the term connecting the dots. And when you do that, things start to fall into place. It, you know, and without you, I mean, I would not have done probably half of what we did in my initial claim and then which led to, into the secondary claim. Right. So, you know, which is going to lead to a third claim and there's going right. to be possibly a fourth claim, <laughs> you know, so, yeah. you know, I would not have, uh, you know, just not have known where to start. Right. And um, one last question, Don. Now, do you think, you know, with you being a previous client and current client now, and you mentioned the third or fourth claim, do you feel that KMD, with the education you've received thus far, if you wanted to do a, another claim down the road, you've educated yourself enough where you don't have to come back and be a client, you can, you know, you can tackle it yourself and have a certain comfort level to see yourself succeeding and coming out on the other side, uh, su- excuse me, successful uh, with that particular claim. I definitely feel the confidence and I've even shared with you on some of our past phone calls where I'm just, I'm addicted to the research of it. I'm like, Oh, I didn't even know this could be tied to this, you know? Right. So you know, when you start understanding the, the game that's being played and how <laughs> to play it, you know, it just opens up your eyes open up. You're like, I, 
you know, like the matrix, right? Where you're like, oh, you like, you see it all. You're like, there it is. But, you know, still at the same time, I probably appreciate being able to go to you and pick your brain or even, you know, consult, hire you again to consult on something, you know? So the process, yes, can get easier because of my knowledge, but I'd still want you to be my battle buddy going into it. <laughs> right. You know, because you have so much up here in your mind that I don't, you know, that you've got years on me of your process alone, your work experience of being inside the VA for what, eight years you said. So, you know, I don't have that. So even it's worthwhile for me to even invest in you again down the road to keep you going. So it's, you know, let's drive the bus yeah. over the cliff. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I definitely appreciate that. And I, you know, I want to just wrap it up with this. And even though I have a certain level of knowledge, maybe more than some other veterans that haven't worked in that system, I am still learning myself. Um, just yesterday, somebody reached out to me on uh, Facebook. They, I am, I am me on Facebook. And they were like, hey, did you know the instability criteria changed? And I was like, what? And I went and looked and I was like, oh, wow, it changed. And the first thing that popped in my mind was, I got to do a YouTube video on it. And uh, this past weekend, I probably spent maybe three or four hours in the M21 reference. Like you said, you know, you just get hungry uh, for more knowledge. And I'm, I'm that way too. So when I see something, I may be, you know, researching the, ref the manual for one particular topic and come across something else. And then I'll put that on hold to go over here. Then I'm copying and pasting stuff. And I'm like, wow, this changed, that changed. Can this affect, you know, potentially what this veteran is doing? And then how do I couple all that together and either, you know, uh, talking on, talk to it uh, in a YouTube live stream or even do a YouTube video on it or even talk about it in one of my monthly educational uh, trainings that I do. Uh, so yeah, definitely, you know, that's what I stress to veterans, you know, when you were in the military and you were trying to get promoted, you know, it was a learning process. You know, you probably had a, uh, we called them, you know, section chiefs, platoon sergeants that, you know, maybe taught you definitely how to wear the uniform or you had to go to a particular in service school or something. You always learn. And every day was, uh, training, you know, the, the army, we would have, Every Thursday, I believe it was every Thursday morning was a training day. So your section chief supervisor had to come up with a particular training where they were training you on something, you know, and that was just, you know, you were just being educated over and over. All, every day it was a new experience. So I tell veterans, you have to approach it, the VA claims process like that. You have to, you know, keep an open mind to be able to receive the education and be willing to learn uh, at the same time. So definitely. Cause you never I know what they're going to counter you with. Right. So going into it, you don't know what you don't know sometimes. And, you know, like you said, the tact might change because of a code that might've changed that you might not have been aware of. So you got to shift the approach to it. So, but that's right. the point of having a Dwayne with you. Right. So, I mean, <laughs> it's worth the investment for me because, you know, like, for example, if I want to hang some new lights in my house, you know, am I going to go YouTube it and learn how to become an electrician, you know, over the next few days and then try to wire up my house? No, I'm going to go hire an electrician. Same with the VA claim process. And my dad's a great example where he's toiled and has gone nowhere for almost a decade with his claim, constant rejections. He's not trained in how to do this stuff, right? So, I mean, that's why you need somebody to go in it with you. Who does? And even though I have this experience now in education, you know, I still wouldn't want to go alone because for me, it's like, okay, if I do mess up or I do leave a paddle at the, at the shore when I go off on my next claim filing, you know, how much time is that? Am I going to lose by not having, you know, brought you along with me on that journey in the, in the, you know, the beginning of it. So, you know, it's worth the investment if you're out there thinking about it. And I always see people in the forums or, because when I'm researching that, everybody's chatting about this stuff. It always seems like everybody's trying to dig in and find the answer for themselves. You know, and if right. how much time, energy, and effort are you willing to spend, you know, on that that process versus like we just talked about the person doing your video edits, right? Pay that seven bucks, get it done, save you an hour. <laughs>
<laughs> you know, I paid Dwayne, you know, what we, what we would charge me. I don't know if you want to disclose what you charge and stuff, but yeah, I paid Dwayne to do it. And it's probably saved me months to years worth of time, you know, and energy right. and, and faster earnings because I'm going to get to a rating decision faster, most likely. Right. So right. that investment well, you, is being returned tenfold in my right. Eyes. Well, you did all the legwork. I, I just, you know, gave you the education and you, you went through and, uh, and we, uh, we always kept in contact and, you know, I, I think it was a couple of times I had to kind of nudge you there. I'm like, Hey, Hey, <laughs> hey Don, you know, what's going on, but you know, you, you got it done. And, you know, I think the keys, uh, to your success, you were willing to be educated and continue and continue to learn the process. And, and, I, and again, you know, you said it, you were like, and you just got hungry for that knowledge and you just started, you know, Oh, what about this? And, Oh, let me look at this. And, you know, things started to fall into place. And then that's where I see a lot of veterans like yourself uh, come out on the other end and be successful uh, when dealing, you know, in this uh, VA claims process. Yeah. And then that's the other benefit to, to having somebody with you on the team is, you know, even though, yeah. Okay. I've got all these issues. There's a process to ordering those. Right. And sometimes you can't just, throw everything at the VA, you've got to kind of get a decision in the rating before you can connect something else. And so that's part of the education process that I've learned, you know, initially going in, you just kind of puke it all up, like, oh, here's all my issues and stuff like that. Right. But, you know, there's a a method to the madness, if you will. Right. You don't know, you don't know. And for those who aren't in the VA consulting business, you probably don't know. So (laughs) get yourself (laughs) in the (laughs) way. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, uh, Don, I, I really appreciate you taking the time to do this testimony. I know we've been trying to connect uh, for, for a little while now, so I definitely uh, appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate you allowing me the opportunity to ed- educate you so you could be successful on uh, the VA disability compensation claims process. So just in wrapping up, I want to give you just a few seconds. You know, what would you share um, with veterans out there that, um, you know, just about the VA claims process in general, would you do anything different? You know, just share, take a couple of uh, seconds just to share any feedback that you may have for other veterans. Because, uh, uh, you know, you're gonna, this is going to be on my YouTube, I mean, on YouTube channel and on my website. It's gonna, so a lot of veterans are going to see it. Uh, so just, you know, what, what positive feedback that uh, you would like to provide them? Sure. I mean, I think the biggest takeaway is, you know, I would not hesitate to hire somebody, you know, in this process like yourself, you know, and having gotten to know you over the years, you know, you're a stand up person. You know, that's one thing I respect about you is that you're fully transparent with people about about your, your business and what you can do for them. And, you know, you deliver. That's the big thing is you deliver on that and you take the time to educate the person along the way. So it's not just saying okay, I've, I've hired Dwayne, he's going to do it all. No, you know, there's a process. Let's dig in together. Let's work together. You, you got a battle buddy in the process. And, and that's what you need. I mean, again, I see people scouring the forums because I'm in there scouring the forums, the videos, you know, absorbing the knowledge and everybody's trying to, everybody's trying to find the way to get to the end result the fastest. But at the end of the day, it's really just getting somebody on board your team that has the expertise that we don't, we can consume all the videos we want. We just don't have the mind, you know, the proper mindset to kind of piece it all together. Right. I mean, cause there's some nuances to how you stack these things in the process that you go about filing. And so there's, there's a lot of layers to this process is what I've learned. So I've probably accelerated my claim results by years. If I had I not gone about it myself, or like I probably wouldn't have been doing it. I probably just would have still <laughs> not have filed a thing, you know. And you right. were the catalyst to do all that. Like get your intent to file in there. Like all right, we got that. You know, you were pushing me along that journey because I was not just dragging my feet because I just didn't know what I didn't know. And right. you know, that's the biggest thing in the education front that you always push. And you know, and I appreciate that you take the time to educate people along the way and not just you know, it's not so. Hey, like you do it all yourself. It's you just, you do educate everybody along that process and the journey because not everything's going to go your way. So, right. 
or what I'm thinking about filing for might not make sense. Right. So there's a, a, a conversation and a back and forth that that's uh, that little nuance is, is very helpful. So. Right. Right. OK. What, uh, Mr. Freed, I definitely appreciate you like, again. Uh, thank you. One, thank you for your service. Uh, thank you for allowing me uh, the opportunity to educate you. And again, thank you for doing this live testimonial. I know a lot of uh, veterans leave comments. Uh, they often do uh, maybe something that you said during this video um they may have a question about uh but definitely and again congratulations on your va claims uh success i know uh you stay we you know you're still in the process and you're doing some uh some some different you know some new some new things uh that you learned so definitely uh good luck with that i'm pretty sure you're definitely going to be successful because again <laughs> like you said you're open to learning <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. So, but hey, again, kudos to you, man. I mean, hats off to you. I mean, you run a great business. You're, you're a stand up guy. You know, I, I appreciate you. And, you know, I, I wish all the success and more people coming to you, you know, and again, let me know how I can help in along the journey and vice versa. So, I mean, all the way to 100 PT. You know, yeah, there, you there you go. Not everybody's able to get there, but I tell people if you feel right. that that's, what you deserve, then, right. you know, you, you serve your country. So you should fight for that. You know, right. um, you know, you sacrifice, you think about the time you sacrifice, you know, away from your family and just, just doing different things. And if you feel that that's your percentage that you deserve, go after it, go, you know, uh, uh, go yep. for it. So, uh, definitely get educated. Um, I always tell people at the end, you know, please like, subscribe, hit that notification button because I'm always doing uh, videos uh, and my monthly educational training and stuff like that. So, um, you know, getting educated, that's the key. You know, uh, don't be frustrated. Get educated, you know. <laughs> yeah, so, invest in yourself, right? Yeah, the there you go. There you go. And or hiring Dwayne. So, yeah, yeah. That's always a good thing. So, uh, Don, again, hey, I appreciate you taking the time um, of doing this live um, this live testimonial. So, definitely, I'm pretty sure other veterans out there, especially uh, those uh, Marine vets like yourself, uh, definitely uh, uh, appreciate it. So, again, uh, thank you for your time today, sir. You're welcome. All right, Dwayne. Okay. We'll talk to you. All right. Thank you.